Can we use the new Photoshop artificial intelligence update in our photo manipulation photo composites? I was not sure about that until I was surprised by the results. So let's find it out. Okay, for this, I was having an idea in my mind, which I started to create like a quick sketch. I will start creating and building the visual from scratch. So let's see. I started by an empty canvas and started to paint dramatic, cloudy, sky photo realistic prompt and see what are the results. I got three results, but this sky was what in my mind. So I started to expand this sky because I want the details of the sky to be small, you know, of the clouds. So I make it smaller and then expanded the canvas. Uh, of course, the details are not the best, but I am pretty satisfied with it, you know. Uh, for, for, for a beginning and for a beta version, that's good for me. So that was the sky. The next thing, I'm going to create a selection in this area and start to write the prompt of the mountain. So I selected this part and started to press generate fell and started to write for mountains. That's it. That's what I wrote. So let's see the results. Okay, that was not bad. This one was not uh, as good as I expected. It's very dark and th the shapes are not good. The next one is horrible. But you, you cannot use it at all. And this one, you know, I can use it. I started to make it bigger and started to reveal some parts from here because it is generated masked so I started to reveal the details from the mask by the brush simply. So I'm now kind of building my visual using text, but it needs imagination. You know, I have to have a vision and that is what I don't, I didn't like with mid journey is that it doesn't give me something specific, but here for Photoshop, I can imagine something specific and write it and it just generate for me. Quick pause. If you are interested in creating amazing visuals like this step by step full length tutorials, plus the PSD files, the stock images used and all the brushes used, you will find the link in the description for my full length classes and tutorials. They are step by step tutorials fully narrated in which I teach you how to think at first and then how to execute your ideas using advanced photo manipulation techniques. The link in the description and let's get back to the video. So the next step, I started to select this area using the lasso tool and started to generate the ocean. So let's see the results. Okay, that is not bad. This one looks actually looks very cool. I like I like how it looks, but let's create another version for the sake of uh, variety. I want to see how far this can go. Uh, I was very curious actually while experiencing with this because, you know, it's just, it's just amazing how you can write text and the AI understand what you want. This one looks amazing. And this one is what I exactly needed. Look at the colors. They are pretty matched with the sky, with the mountains. So for me, that was it. Let's continue with this one. So again, I started to make it smaller and then expanded the canvas again because I want the mountains to be like far away in distance. So I started to create generative fill for the rest of the canvas and see what are the results. Okay, that's amazing. And that is what I have already expected uh, after trying it for some minutes. But you know, I wanted to create like sun here, but this doesn't work. This doesn't work. Actually, whatever the prompts I tried to write here, it doesn't, it didn't work at all. And as you can see, it gave me silly sun shapes. So I just gave up this part and continued. So here I started to select this area to create like a cliff, a rocky surface in the mid ground uh, at which I will uh, put the car. So I wrote cliff with fence and leading root. You know, this kind of visuals are common in the uh, car commercials. 
you know so uh, let's see what are the results okay that was not as good as i expected but it's not bad let's try to generate other versions okay that's horrible <laughs> no <laughs> i don't like this so let's stick with the first one and let's expand the canvas a little bit uh, at the bottom and see what can we get out of this i can see now you understand the game you can just write something and then uh, if you like its shape you can leave it as is or if you want to, to make it smaller and then expand the canvas and that's it okay the the results are not the best uh but it's okay let's give it another shot and see what can we get out of this so let's see this version is not good at all this one is not bad but let's generate another version and let's see okay that's horrible that's very bad the next one hmm now we are talking i guess that we can count on this one to enhance it so let's start by at first try to put a car here and see what are the results so i created a selection and uh, press generative fill and I write SUV car and let's see the results okay that's horrible not good at all perspective is off and everything is not good it's, it's I tried it again it doesn't work because I think the road itself is not it, it has a weird angle you know so we need to fix the road itself at first and then put the car so I started to select this area, trying to create like a leading road coming from the far distance. And here the magic happened. When I selected this area and just wrote road, press generate and the result. Damn! Damn, that's perfect. The perspective is the best. The leading line itself is really amazing. Uh, you know, it's just get into the composite the way that was in my mind uh, guys believe me that's really really hard to create in this short amount of time and at this time it's okay i'm satisfied let's start to put another car and here i thought about uh this color combination needs you know some maybe orange or red color so i started to put like a red color and the mistake i made here is that i created a very big selection and the photoshop just generated a car with this size <laughs> so it's not uh, the best uh, result because of my mistake so what i need to do now is to create a smaller selection i want to confine photoshop and tell and tell it that i want the car to be in this specific area and that's what I did and I just wrote red car let's see that's that's very good that's very good and we uh, we are having something here but the main problem here was that the car perspective is off because the selection needs to be a little bit higher and that requires a, a basic understanding of perspective uh, from you so I started to shift the selection a little bit to the top, try to guess the perfect selection size, and then press red car. And now we are talking. Now that's perfect. The perspective is perfect. It's just matching the, the road direction. And you know what? I can give this to the client and tell him that this is the first draft. What about... What do you think about it and we can then make a better version of it using real images so for me this was like a very good tool visualizing my ideas and that was amazing especially after adding some adjustment layers you know some lighting effects some simple layers it just it just looks very good very good as a draft uh, and it's very specific and that's what I like in this update and that's what I didn't like in mid journey is that it gives me a very good results but it's not specific it's not what in my mind 
you are trying to kind of guess what it's going to give you. But here, hmm, that's, that's very specific and very powerful. Let me guys in the comments, what do you think about these new updates? Will you use it in your projects or not? And don't forget guys, this is the beta version. This is not the final version. So I'm so curious and interested to know what will the final version look like. I'm very interested to see. So that was it guys. And if you want to know how to create amazing visuals like this, you can find it in this video. Peace.